Okay, let's move on to another topic for now, okay? I sort of want to go over the locale live editor firing situation and see what's going on there. I want to see the actual call. Apparently, Keemstar, all right, host of locale live, all right, has fired his editor live on air. All right, I'm sure it's all very performative. But the thing is, is that, dude, live on air, <clears throat> and there seems to be a lot of problems with Keemstar and the way that he runs things. So I kind of want to take a look at that, especially with Locale Live, uh, his little show where he brings on well-known locales, okay? Like Ring Wings of Redemption and Boogie um, in order for them to kind of clown themselves out in order to, uh, in order for, you know, the show to go on. And apparently, whenever I watch the show, Keemstar will regularly shit on his editor for Locale Live. I don't know if that's on act or it's not an act, but apparently, I guess some of it was not. So, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at that. Shall we? Ask me if I got fired from Walk Out Live. Because oh. uh, Keemster was whining about it tonight. I don't know if uh, you watched any of that. You know, no one, no one really watches that. <laughs> I don't watch a lot. Of I've, been, I've been very busy. I'm actually, like, catching up on internet drama right now. Yeah. Because I, I, I've kind of been out of the loop. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he had me throw together a docket like last minute. By the way, Keem's one and only job on the show is to set up a live stream once a week. That's like all he does, right? Yeah. And so he pushed it off yesterday. He said, um, I don't know what's going on. We'll just do it tomorrow. Pushed it off to tomorrow. Then he calls me. He's like, bro, make a docket for me. I, I don't know what's going on. Make a docket. I'm like, okay. I throw a couple things together. It's not a lot, but it's plenty to go over. You got like an hour of content. Here, let me just, let me just send it to you, actually. Hold on. And honestly, you could even read some of these because they're actually super funny. So, so, so I do believe that this is Bo Blacks. Okay, those Bo Blacks. And apparently, the editor hopped on. I think this is the editor. So yeah. <laughs> but it's a pretty good amount of content. It is okay, like let's uh. See. We're leaking the law cow live internal. <laughs> he, he went over it on. <laughs> he went over it on stream. Uh, so it starts off like Keemstar made this hilarious post about how much he doesn't want to fuck Grace Thorpe. Like, he wrote a paragraph. I don't know if you know Grace Thorpe. She's that one, like, younger, like, 20-year-old yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, who... it's the one where he did the bit with her where he was, like, in his underwear doing, like, a reaction video, and you could see it in the mirror or something. Yes, and he made a whole post on it. It was so fucking funny. I was dying reading that post, and he got ratio to shit. Like, he had zero upvotes on it. He had 72 comments. If you want to just read the just read this post. It's actually just so good. <laughs> Real Keem at Keemstar. I don't want to fuck Grace, you retards. I don't know why this Reddit is so obsessed with saying Keem only wants to fuck Grace on the sh only wants Grace on the show to fuck her. One, I had them on the show. The okay, so basically Grace Thorpe hopped onto uh, Keemstar's show. All right, and uh, lots of people are memeing around saying that you know Keemstar wants to fuck Grace Thorpe. Um. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, when you kind of make a response, all right, such as a big Reddit post about how much you don't want to fuck Grace Thorpe, people are just going to think that you want to fuck Grace Thorpe even more, okay? Um, that's just the reality. Um, I don't know if it's called, like, specifically the Streisand effect or something. But, um, yeah, that's just how it works. The first time, because there's... Sorry, I, w I was seeing if this was posted on April 1st. Is he, like, joking? No, this is real. So this is, this real? is serious. He's actually mad. He's asked mad at the Reddit, yeah. He's mad at people memeing in the Lol Cow Live chats and communities. Yes. Like, yes. look at the banner. This is a joke. Like, th this show, obviously, like, they're taking it seriously and stuff and it's being made. But the whole, like, premise and, like, atmosphere around the show is jokey vibes. We're talking about Lol Cows. So, yeah, exactly. The fact that he's reacting seriously to comments <laughs> is, is really weird. Uh, one, I had them on the show the first time because there was a rumor that Grace is fucking her father, and I thought it would be good content. It wasn't, though. It was trash. Two, <laughs> okay. even though their first appearance was garbage, I had to put them on a second time because the father, father got arrested and there was a major update. Three, I only had them on the third time because they accused me of sexual assault and... Uh, sexual assault and honestly i thought it was a funny bit four have you seen my girlfriend she's a straight up smoke show why the fuck would i want to fuck grace Five, everything one and four 
you guys on Reddit already know, but you choose to live in a fairy tale world that Grace is only on the show because I want to fuck her. You are retarded. I'm going to bully you for being retarded. So, <laughs> wait, so this is what is. I thought He's the third thing serious. was a bit. I thought the whole third thing was fake. But it he, was fake. Yeah. But he but still he said asked I about only it. had them on because they accused me of sexual harassment. So when they accused him of sexual harassment, was it a bit, but Keem wasn't in on the bit until later? Or was it like completely planned? Because I assumed that they called and they were like, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to falsely accuse you of sexual, sexually, uh, sexual harassment. No, it was like completely a bit. Uh, he definitely knew about all of it. But then look at the upvotes. He has zero upvotes and there's 70 comments and all the comments are shitting on him. So the point being, I put this in the docket for him to go over today and he deleted it. He removed it from the docket three minutes before the live stream. Look at this. I have the proof too. This is him editing it out of the docket. <laughs> so he, he went live and then he whined about how I didn't put the docket together right. But he deleted it from the docket. He didn't want to. He didn't go want to go over his own shit. Why? <laughs> All the comments are shitting on him. Everyone's saying these. Do you see how like this just makes Keemstar look even more suspicious in regards to like wanting to fuck Grace Thorpe? I think, I think the entire situation is kind of funny. Um, just mainly because it's like, you know, it is locale live, you know. But I've heard before that you know another cow exists out there in the midst okay in the wild all right they say that this cow acts like a cow but the name is not a cow i do think that the cow's name rhymes with keemstar okay this person this person is a secret cow okay it's like a easter egg cow you know what i mean so yeah i guess we'll see all right I guess we'll see. The cow, this is the retarded buzz. He says he was going to bully them for being retarded in, in point number five. Yeah. So do it. Yeah, so do it. But he did it. I'm upvoting so, it. So <laughs> the buzz. I wanna give Let's it some one. help. It's not worth zero. I mean it's 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 a beautifully written piece. I yeah, love it. Great. I think this needs to be like I'm saving it. Like this needs to be like <laughs> Archived for all eternity. He bet this better not get deleted. This has to be. Yeah, I've screenshotted it. It's great. It's a great post. And so I was thinking, you know, he could read this on stream. He could have Boogie there. He could have Tommy there. He could have Wings there. They could talk shit about it. They could read the comments. Look at all these comments. My name is Kim. I want to become a law cow. So you invite her on a fourth time because I'm more disgusted. You think it's content from him? Like people are giving like their takes on it and shitting on him. Why would you not? This is the whole point of Lolcow Live, This is fucking wrong? awesome, yeah. <laughs> oh, but dude, if Keem ends up being like the cow like figure, then it's bad. Only being a woogie. Bro, uh, I'll say this right. I don't know how, after so long, like, Keemstar is unable to, like, handle situations like this. I'm sure, like, mm -hmm. this isn't the first time that uh, Keemstar was, you know, accused of, you know, wanting to fuck somebody. So, you know, he is, like, repeatedly bringing somebody on. Does he not know that, you know, the Streisand effect, you know, kind of exists where, you know, the more you talk about the situation, the more, uh, the more widespread that it becomes like, this is one of the biggest rules of like content creation, right? He's been doing this for a while. So like, obviously I'm a little surprised, um, with like the way that he is, you know, kind of handling this because it's not, uh, I, I will say this. Okay. He's a veteran, he's a veteran YouTuber. So obviously it's a, yeah. A boogie and wings. Can, yeah. can be lol cows or <laughs> i'm sure uh keemstar wouldn't mind tommy c having a lol cow moment you know but god forbid yeah. that keem have a lol cow moment for the lol cow show no of course not and so he, he had to remove that so that's one then i included a clip of uh dick masterson went like really hardcore and boogie said that he's like manipulating his girlfriend all sorts of other crazy shit it's like a time stamped clip but he watched this solo, by the way. None of, none of this, he didn't do any of this with the cows. He did all of this by himself. We want Boogie to react to these three. That's like the point. Like, nope. It's Keemstar alone. Boogie's not going to be there. Instead, he's going to do it on his own. He acted depressed and sad the whole time and then called Boogie in afterwards and didn't address half the docket. And then Boogie didn't just go over it. So Boogie probably doesn't even know this stuff happened because it's not... Like, I know Boogie's kind of obsessed with himself, so he probably looks up a lot of things about himself, but so many people talk oh, about him. I think I remember. No, <laughs> right. like, it's gone to a point, probably, with Boogie that there's no guarantee that he even has seen any of this shit, you know?
Yeah, exactly. So, but and then it's good to get his reaction live on air because you can be like, "Holy yeah. shit!" We can watch what Kim has to say or watch what Boogie has to say about it because Dick went in on him and he was saying a bunch of <laughs> crazy shit. And then yeah, just a whole bunch of different like posts and stuff that you can read, you can talk about. I mean, if we really went through all these, you'd probably be here for at least like forty-five minutes, if not longer, if we went through and yeah, talked about I all mean, them. And the cows, uh, they do ramble quite a bit, so it's like I, I yeah. could definitely oh. see like an hour and a half to two hours out of all of this. Yeah, um, and also, uh, this isn't even my job anyway. <laughs> I'm just supposed to edit the videos, yeah. but he was like, I can't figure out a live stream, so can you do it? The one thing he's supposed to do a week, he just couldn't even figure it out. So, do you even put. I, I'll say this right now. Again, I prepare all of my live stream content, okay? For the docket, for the docket that I go over, <laughs> I, I prepare my docket, okay? <laughs> I have a bunch of links on my docket right now, all right? And I have, like, all the titles and stuff prepared. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'll say this, like, again, like, me putting effort like this is kind of new, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not somebody who just, you know... Because before, I remember when I streamed, um, I, don't, I don't really put in any effort like that. But now I am trying to, you know, get more organized with, like, the sections that I go over. Um... Like, you guys can clearly see that, you know, oh, yeah, like, this is today's plan. This is what I'm going over today, you know? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't, like, rely. I didn't hire my editor because I want somebody to prepare the docket. Like, dude, the entire point of being a content creator is that, you know, you're the one who prepares the topics. You're the one with the creative outlook, okay? I don't know. It's, uh, it's all very silly to me. <laughs> The docket? Yeah. The docket. Yes. That's the roast just... of yourself in here. Connor needs yes. to be fired immediately. <laughs> Cannot get over yes. how bad the title of the new episode is. Wait, don't doesn't Keem do the titles? Well yeah, he does. He talks about I feel like Connor's lack of editing talent is really weighing down the show. So I want to include him shitting on me for for editing and also a little bit of them shitting on him. Right? Kind of tie it yeah, all together. So for fun content. Yeah, exactly. I mean the whole point of this Reddit is to get everything going. Or, or like yeah. to to get talk for the show, like where you you're using the Reddit for your show, kind of like how H three pulls from his Reddit for the show, right? Exactly, and you're supposed to do it with like the whole crew there. Like if H three did it without Dan and without everyone else, it would just be retarded. He does it with everyone, right? So why would you just go in there solo? Keem's not creative enough to do things solo. You know, he's he needs like the group. He, he works well in a group setting because he can manage people. But solo, he's just like ADHD brain and can't do anything. Yeah, and even if it like, not... if you want to do solo, he has the Keemstar Show channel for that. Like, Lol Cow is specifically <laughs> for uh, to highlight Boogie and Wings, right? Yeah, exactly. It's not about him. So he's he 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 bagged the show on purpose, which is a total L, and then uh, tried to blame it on me when he didn't couldn't even spend fifteen minutes to set it up in the first place. So wait, so the whole show but... got canceled? That didn't even happen. No, he went live. I just mean bagged the shows, and he went live and intentionally like uh, was acting depressed and sad and said it was such a boring docket the whole time because he didn't put it together himself. Dude, this whole so. concept of like bo like the Reddit shitting on Boogie and Wings or like um you know even Dick Masterson shitting on Boogie or whatever. You ready for the real take? I think the very concept of a show where you display locales, right? You know, trying to have this entire thing going on i think the entire premise of the show is kind of fucked <laughs> it's kind of silly all right and the reason it's so silly is because it's like you're supposed to observe a locale in their natural environment when and you know i've said this in chat's chat before but like now when you put the locales you know onto a show you don't know whether or not you know it's genuine or not at all you don't know the entire point of a locale is that they're kind of clowning clowning themselves out on their own live streams but now, when you put them on the show, uh, everybody has to kind of guess like whether or not it's real or fake or whatever, right? Uh, it, it just seems kind of like antithetical, like inherently antithetical to like the entire concept of locales. Um, I think it's kind of comparable to like wrestling, right? Like WWE, where you know a lot of it just seems real until you grow up and you learn that it's all fake, right? You learn that, oh yeah, none of it was real. Is they're, they're kind of clowning themselves out because Keemstar is just trying to whisper in their ear, right? Oh yeah, do this today, do this today, do this today, right? Like, that's not 
that's not being a low calling, right? Just being an actor, right? I don't know. It just feels weird. And then them like reacting to it live, live Reddit review. Why? Why is it Keemstar? Like this, this thumbnail and and title is clickbait. There's yeah, a it's better not real. concept that should have been there already. That should have been done. Yeah, no, it's not. Real. I mean, I, I would <laughs> review it right now, like, but the show is private. Yeah, it's also members only, which is great. But yeah, yeah now the same thing with the tips run. Yeah, he did that too. I made like a montage of tips of talking shit. And it was like, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes. And he couldn't watch it for more than 30 seconds straight. Like, I don't know what he expected to see, but obviously you have to watch Boogie say something and then you have to watch Tips to respond. Like you covered all the Boogie versus Tipster shit, right? Yeah, lightly, not like super in depth though. Well, yeah. it, it, super in depth for the average person, not super in depth for me covering Tips. You know? <laughs> we only spent like an yeah. hour or two on it, not five, but. Yeah, well, Bokeem spent a solid like maybe five minutes on it. That's how much he spent before his ADHD brain bounced all over the place. Yeah, I remember because um, I, I think I <laughs> tried watching that episode. I've watched a couple episodes. I, I tried to watch the tipster stream. There was one lol cow that I watched all the way through and really liked, but I forget which one it was. Um, yeah, some of them, they're good. I mean, this thing is, it's, it's a good show if they're all together, but Keem is just too incompetent to do anything solo. He just, just does not work for him. Why? He works well with all of them together because he can, like, talk shit to them and make a whole show, but... It's just retarded if he works solo. It just does not work. So. Yeah, dude. Okay, it's this one I watched. Not the video, but the live stream version. The first oh, yeah. thing I see when I scroll down, top comment, Keem, fire your editor. Every single po edited <laughs> podcast is way worse than it is live. The broke dude, cuts of every edited episode ruining the pace, making it unwatchable. Dude, you know, what, you know what's so funny about this? Okay, I did an experiment, right? So Keem wants me to cut out every pause, right? This is his request. He says, cut out every pause, cut out every um, cut out every uh. So I've been doing that, and every time I do that, people in the comments are like, holy shit, this is edited horribly. The last episode I did was uh, Melanie Mack. I cut... Dude. I don't even require Hazard to do that. Like, if, if he wants to do that, then he can do that. But, like, uh, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like... Uh, if I am bothered, right? If I'm bothered by my ums and ahs, I personally will put in more effort into my commentary, okay? That's how it should be. That's how it should be, okay? <laughs> That's what I do now. Is that if I'm bothered by my ums and ahs, <laughs> I personally put in effort to not do any ums and ahs, okay? Or I make sure that my ums and ahs are, you know, they actually make sense. Because before, I was a lot more like, you know, the stardust ums and ahs, right? It was like, um, 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 I forgot, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying, um, you know, that kind of stuff. But like now it's just, you know, uh, now I am in fact, uh, trying to think before I speak, okay? Hopefully, all right? That up, <sighs> but I didn't do it the way he asked. I did it. Normally, where I left some us, I left some us, I left pauses in there intentionally to see what the response would be. Not a single comment is complaining about the editing. They're all just talking about the episode. As soon as I do it my own way and like edit it properly what? instead of the weird Gen Z way that he likes to edit, everyone's like, "This is fine. This is great." Yeah, episode. now it's com now it's complaining about having Rich on the show instead. But yeah, dude. I mean, fucking. This is just so funny to me. I'm obviously not fired. Oh, Keemstar was whining and complaining all day, all day long. But uh, I had Buggy and Tommy gun guard for me because they're right. I mean, they went live. They were on the live stream. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you went over all of it solo. We could have had like an hour long show if you had all of us in here. I will, dude. I will say this though. Okay, if you're an editor and you went on someone else's live stream to kind of complain about your issues with your boss. Isn't that like kind of akin to like a backstabbing? <laughs> like that's kind of crazy. Okay, it's in public. It's like kind of like making a Facebook post about your boss, except it's like on like what another commentator's like. It, like, isn't that kind of weird? Am I the only one who thinks it's weird? Like, dude, I, I don't know <laughs> why. Like, ha have they have they talked? Have they talked like in private? Like Carantos? Well, that's not quite the same because they already left. Like, like, sure, it's kind of akin to, you know, something that's slimy a little bit, right? But this is like, but this is like before the firing happened, right? This is before the firing happened, not after, not after the quitting happened, 
before the firing slash quitting. Okay, so. Like what? <laughs> yeah, the, so. the, the, sh the solo beforehand thing is just. Doesn't work. Yeah, it just does not and work. I, I know if they're all in there, it would get like derailed maybe for like certain topics and maybe the viewers need context really fast. But. Maybe pick and choose which topics you do that on. Like, if it's an important thing where you need to get out all of the facts and then have the cows comment on it, it's not as much reaction, but more pure information, then be solo and then the cows come in. But if it's a thing, like, a thing to be reacted to, then everyone should be there. 100%. I mean, yeah. that's just basic streamer knowledge. It's just surprising to me. I always hear Augie talk about stuff, like, you know, before. Like, he's talked about, like, oh, like... I know that uh, Keemstar used to be really good at like streaming. He used to be like the fucking top tier streamer back in the day, like back in 2014. He was amazing. And every time I've watched Keem stream in the last like three months, I've just been like blown away with how terrible, <laughs> terrible it is. Yeah. Like he cannot do it solo. He can do it with a group. I'll give him that. But solo, he's just not. He cannot do it. It's like his brain is fried. What do you? Did you ever watch Keem back in the day, like in 2014? Yeah, he shit? was. He was a lot better. He was a lot more funny. I don't know what happened. I, I think, like, <laughs> Keemstar... I think the Keemstar show really lost... He lost a lot of his confidence, maybe. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, like, completely speculating. But I'm yeah. guessing maybe the change is because he's, like, losing confidence ever since the Keemstar show because he's that's when he could like notice and see that his relevance dipped like through numbers maybe he's like really desperate for people to like him <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know but ma don't maybe know. I'm just talking out of my ass I really I, can't tell what's going on in his I, head I, so. there's probably some truth to that yeah there's probably some truth to that because you know another thing about speaking of his confidence you want to know my theory on Keemstar when it, <laughs> this, is, this is getting into very very spurgy theory but um so you know how he quit drama alert right like he star, you know he quit drama alert because he was obviously falling off you know it's really funny doesn't the he only still stuff... do them on snapchat like with him speaking yes but you know what's really funny about that for some reason he does it on snapchat that's kind of short form content right like his, his episodes are probably like five minutes maybe or less it's kind of short form content yeah but that's the only platform he does on. He could upload five-minute videos to TikTok. He can upload five-minute videos to even YouTube. Or um, I think I don't think Instagram does five minutes, but he could probably put one-minute clips out there on those channels. But he only does it on Snapchat. You want to know why? You want to know why he only does it on Snapchat? Why? I think I know why, but tell me. It's the only platform that you can't publicly see the views. Every other platform, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you can go look at the person's page and see how many views their shit is getting. Yeah. Snapchat, you can't. He never has to be pressed <laughs> about how he fell off <laughs> because he's only right. posting on a platform that he can't see the views. Also, on. his <laughs> metrics for success that he keeps trying to like flex with the drama lore cat. I. <sighs> once, once you reach a large enough size and then you've done, you know, this entire content creation thing for, you know, quite some time already, I don't think anybody can, you know, they're not really prepared, you know, in the long term for like the same amount of inspiration as they had, right? To be a content creator means you need to have, you know, nigh amounts of effort and concentration and creativity and all of that stuff. Um, like, for example, how much, <laughs> how much, like, how much creativity is left in some of these, um, in some of these, like, uh, you know, horror creators or, you know, true crime people or whatever. I don't know. Like who, like Nexpo, right? Like somebody like Nexpo. I don't know. <sighs> it just kind of seems like to me that like at some point you kind of just run out of juice. And, you know, I, I think it's okay if you run out of juice. If you're somebody who is, who was successful, like Keemstar, I think you just like, you know, just count your just count yourself lucky. I think you just count yourself lucky that you know you managed to get away with so much. You you managed to get away with so much without quitting, and you managed to retire. And in addition to retiring, you probably have you're probably rich as well. Like he, I remember that you know, Keemstar has offered Grade A under A a six digit salary, right? Did he not? He offered Grade A a six digit salary. And then Grade A later on, like, turned, like, against Keemstar. Um, so it's just kind of like, 
I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Count is like impression. So he's basically like saying, we're good at typing something that people will freak out at it cl and click on and then like not follow because of it. Or like we're good right. at spamming posts. So like on average, just we're going to have a higher uh, impression count because we post so much. Like, yeah. uh, like I feel like Keemstar's the only person I've ever seen flex Twitter impressions. <laughs> yeah. For, like, you kind of, like we got a billion like... impressions. <laughs> like, okay. There's that accounts mean? that get, like, viral tweets that get, like, millions of views that still end up having, like, 500 followers. Like, I, I, don't, I right. don't know. Are you making, like, a lot of money off Twitter? I don't, like, I just don't, like... Yeah. Are you, is it like converting to Snapchat views? Is because like <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. Well, I mean, here's the thing: if he releases his Snapchat analytics, then I'll kneel. But if not, then I'm completely gonna believe that he only posts on Snapchat so he can hide his view count, because then it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, another thing about Twitter too is it's a lot easier to just clickbait or post like stupid shit on the internet when it's just like a Twitter post. Yeah. But to actually make like engaging content. He's falling off of that. Yeah, obviously. Because in order to consume a tweet like fully, it takes like uh, five to twenty seconds, right? And, but if there's right. a video attached, obviously it takes longer. But usually there isn't. Uh, when it comes to anything else, like you got to dedicate like a minute or more. So it, it's just easier to click and read a tweet and just like not think about it. I don't know. It's like right. really easy to get impressions on Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, but it yeah. doesn't really do anything because it's like you barely make any money if you do at all. And it's like, I guess you could like post under your viral tweet being like, hey, check out my thing. But that usually doesn't work. I don't know. It's just, it, 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 it just doesn't, it's just no point in flexing it. Yeah. It's just very, uh, it's very strange. But regardless, you know, I, I think the thing is too is he knew Dramala was falling off. That's why he retired it. Um, and now he can just do other side projects because, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's not his full commitment, uh, like Lock Alive and shit like that. Regardless, you know, it's just funny to me. She's a straight up smoke show, <laughs> dude. It's just, it's just funny it's to like, me. It's like so boomer. It's so boomer. Day. Like, <laughs> yeah, you it's think like your girlfriend's post. hot? Like, yeah, it, like, yeah. Like, tipster, tipster's gonna be like, yeah. But what do you mean? My wife is gorgeous. Like, yeah, of course I, you think, I I would expect you to think your wife is gorgeous. You know, I would expect yeah. you to think she's a straight up smoke show for you. Because for you, she is. That's fine. I don't think she's ugly. I just don't think she's a straight up smoke show. I, I don't know. Like, why even bring it up? She's a straight up <laughs> smoke show. Have you seen my girlfriend? Wow. Why would I want to be with anyone else? Yeah, everything you're saying is true. And then on top of that, he includes it in a post of how much he doesn't want to fuck another girl on the Wall Cow Live subreddit. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's just so desperate. Could you imagine how he was feeling when he wrote this out? Yeah, he was like fuming. He had his sense. And the thing is, too, is I know Keemstar is like dyslexic as fuck. Like he can't write very much or read very much, like long, long shit. So he's been extra work on this. He's been extra work to put this together. <laughs> Which is yeah, why it's so funny. He's definitely on his um lack of self confidence arc for sure. How? How's low? <laughs> How how's Keemstar not a low cow at this point? How's Keemstar not a low cow at this point? Like it it just seems so clear to me now that you know Keemstar is no longer being taken seriously. This guy is hella insecure. This guy is like, well, I don't know about looping right per se, but like making a post called "I don't want to fuck Grace, you retards." Like, who? It, you ha you you would have a better time convincing me that this is faked. <laughs> that this is faked. Keemstar put a forth, you know, some degree of effort. He felt a spark of inspiration again. All right, in order to drive user engagement, right? Because this kind of thing would drive user engagement. <laughs> a post like this, right? It's just, damn, you know, damn. Because, like, what, um, do you remember that video that I made, like, about Boogie, like, going on his hands and knees for Lol Cow, and Nick showed it to me months, like... Queen Man, you're banned from the JSTELC Discord.
you should talk shit to their faces. Quayman, you know, these days, instead of shitting on Stardust, maybe it's better if you just shit on j Stock instead, okay? Considering how you have a negative reaction to j Stock today. I don't know. Like, uh, not months, uh, days in advance. So I was able to make the video in advance and then release at the same time as yeah. the other show. Like, Keemstar called... Whoa, whoa, hold on, Quayman. Not tonight, okay? Not tonight. ...called me the next day and he's like, you really ruined my entire day. And now no one's going to watch the podcast. And he was, like, worried that I was going to siphon views from the podcast and, tell, and tell, trying to, like, and telling me about how much, like, he wasn't even, like, going, like, Keemstar mode. He was, like, going full on, like, as if I was offline talking because obviously it's a private call. And he's like, dude, like, it really, like, we're trying our best here and you really, like, fucked up the show. Okay, I'll make sure Jay Stock rebans you. Okay, no problem. Yeah, you can go tell your new boyfriend that. All right, have fun. Take care. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I will be playing this video game and I'll be listening and catching up on this editor drama. Wow, so spicy. Oh, and like, I'm really, I was <laughs> upset all day over it. I'm like, what? He's very <laughs> Yeah, well, also, like, what the fuck does he mean? Don't promote the show. I don't want free promotion on YouTube videos. What? Well, it, it was because, like, he, he thought my video spoiled the whole show. He's like, why would anyone it watch the show if, and it doesn't? And I and I promoted the no. show in the video. I was like, go watch the full show or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, any promotion is fucking good promotion. What the fuck is he talking about? I and and Lolcow Live was new. It was literally that was like literally the first episode or second episode that that whole thing was attached to. So it's like there's a lot of my viewers who probably don't even know what Lolcow is, but do know what Keemstar is because obviously my channel was. You know, a lot of people follow for the Keemstar tweets, so I think it helped the show, if anything, but... Yeah, no, I think it helps the show. I mean, I'd love if people are still making videos about LOLCAT Live, but they're not anymore because, I mean, it fell off and he also burned the bridge of everyone around. It's not like it's impossible to grow it back. I mean, I still like the show. I like editing for it. I think it's a fun show, but Keemstar is just so bad at running a live show. It's just so terrible. Connor's getting fired from this combo. No. I'm not getting fired from this combo. I'm keeping it simple. Keem, Keemstar, I welcome Keemstar to rage at me. He's done it a million times. Connor gonna get fired <laughs> after this. <laughs> yeah, I, he can rage at me. It doesn't, it, it doesn't, it rolls right off my back. The thing is, I can actually take the heat. That's the difference. That's why I include posts shitting on me. That's why I fucking start shit with Keemstar. I can take heat. Keemstar can't. Otherwise, he would have read all the comments on his shitty Grace post, but, you know. Yeah. Okay. And I, I do like <laughs> Keemstar and Lolcow live. Maybe not in right. the current position he's in with, like, the solo reading and stuff. I feel like there could be someone else who is, like, less ADHD. And I'm ADHD, too, obviously. So this person wouldn't be me. But there needs to be, like, the person who does the solo explanation stuff, it needs to be quick to the point, like, monotone-ass delivery. Like, fucking June the King or something. Or, like, Turkey Tom. Or, like, I don't know. Just, like, some guy who is just there to read and introduce the topic to people and then get all the cows on including keem keem should be one of the cows he shouldn't be the host he should be one of the cows in my opinion <laughs> like like, yeah. like tommy not cows as in keem stars as much of a lol cow as a boogie or wings i wouldn't even call keem star a lol cow all the time but uh <laughs> it, it, it'd be in the same capacity as like tommy right it's like a semi cow like, yeah, every now and then you can shit on them. Yeah, right like, uh, like they're stupid. they're like they're like boomer kind of cow adjacent, but they're like self aware enough to where they wouldn't be considered a full on lol cow. Although I feel like I'm kind of bullshitting if I don't call Kima lol cow, considering <laughs> he was very unself aware with that Reddit post we just read. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is a lot. Let's just say Kima isn't a lol cow, but he mooed like a lol cow for this post, right? So it's like. Well, he he got on fucking Wings' asshole for like two weeks straight. He was on Wings of Redemption's asshole for two weeks straight because Wings was crying about the subreddit. And Wings was like, I don't like the interactions with the subreddit. I don't like what they're calling me. It's all fucked up. It's all mean. But then Keem can't even read a post about people just saying he's a loser. The name is saying he's a pedophile. He's just a loser. So he yeah. got on Keem's... He got, he's not only unself-aware just about the post itself, but he can't just take the heat from reading the fucking subreddit. Like, what? what? Yeah. What? Ivana <laughs> in chat says, why can't Tommy do that part? I'm not saying replace Tommy or do anything with Tommy. I'm just saying that, like, Keem should have the same role as Tommy and they do it together. Kind of like how Boogie and Wings both have the same role as Lolcows, right? 
like full all cows. And then uh, the person introducing it should be someone who is just like, it's just there to get the information out and then we get to the cows as quickly as possible. I love Keem being involved in the discussions with the law cows. I think he adds a lot to those discussions, um, but just Keem particularly with like the docket and just explaining drama and stuff like that. He can do it, but it would be better if someone else did, I think, but. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, like Clown. Yeah. Clown has a great voice. He would be a great, like, just like, here is everything. And then he, like, leaves the call, and then they react to it, right? Like, I'm not even saying the solo person should be involved with the cow discussion. Maybe it's just two separate things, where it's just, like, the intro, the, the cows watch, the little show, the little prep, right? And then the discussion. I don't know. Just yeah. thinking out loud, but... Tommy do the reading part of the beginning. He could, or honestly, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I almost was thinking, I don't know how troll this would be. I wanted to hit up the cows and be like, "Hey, you guys want to redo the stream on my channel?" And I'll like give you guys like fifty bucks or something each, and we'll just redo the stream, but with all of you there, and we can all react to the to the Reddit as it was supposed to be done instead of crying and whining like children, like Dude, you started. That would create such great drama for the podcast. But you might, <laughs> have to, it might. I mean, you say you're not afraid of Keem firing you or whatever. Like, what what is stopping you from doing that? I suppose I could do it on the Lockout Live channel. Like, I want to do it on my own channel, so I'm not, like, siphoning money or anything. Yeah. But I would do it on the Lockout Live channel. Yeah, I mean, like, emergency Lockout Live. Keem doesn't know about this in brackets. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he'll hear about it, obviously, because I'm saying it on fucking stream. But I was literally thinking about that. I was like, that would be so funny, because I feel like it would be so easy to do content. I mean, you and I have just talked about the Lockout podcast from one post for the last 30 minutes. Yeah. We've, we've spent 30 minutes from reading one Keemstar post. We didn't watch the dick video. There's a whole bunch of shit in there. We didn't want to read any of the other posts. Yeah, we could go through and the you're, whole you're thing. Not even, you're not even one of the cows. But imagine if it was Boogie, how much more we could talk about if it was involving all this or if it was involving all of his girlfriend and all that shit. We've already made 30 minutes of content just sitting here yapping about one yeah. post. And Keemstar is doing content to do that? What the fuck is, what is he? Is he retarded? <laughs> yeah, we need to get Boogie so. in here. Let's get Boogie in here right now. Dude. Let's get Boogie and Wings in here right now, dude. Yeah, yeah, you can they can react to the fucking uh, poster right now. Yeah, but it, it is late. No. <laughs> you know, Bo Boogie, know Boogie's, Boogie's like ancient. Boogie's like sixty, dude. He needs to get his fucking nap. He would flip. Why would he flip? Because he uh, he he had the content himself first, right in front of his hands. It was sitting there directly in front of his hands, and he refused to use it. Why would he flip? It's not like we're stealing content. It's it was given to him, but he didn't want to use it. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, but he <laughs> he would flip, but like it would be unjustified, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. No, like I said, I, I literally was just thinking about doing that. I wanted to hit up, you know, hit up the cows, see what they think about that. Just do another, uh, do the live stream again. Because they would make money off it. It wouldn't even pay me. I wouldn't even benefit off of it. Whatever they make, they make on that stream if it's on the channel. So, oh shit. Are we gonna I watch open this? screen share, dude. We, dude, we got to do the whole dog. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> okay, we're just going over the docket now. Yeah. All right. Boogie has been dealing with a stalker situation, as you've seen. Yeah, right. Jack me. Huh? What, that guy? Oh, that guy? <laughs> that guy oh, I thought that was Keemstar. Came to his Star. house and spray-painted stuff Never on mind. him. and Ed then file? Maybe it was a little boy that he... I don't know what information this individual... I'm not going to help you with that bit, but... Uh... <laughs> dude, oh, dude, of course Vito's not going to help. Dude, he's protecting his own. <laughs> of course. <laughs> dude, is... <laughs> we're one second in. He's called Boogie a pedophile and says, Jack me off. I don't believe he's getting stalked. Dude, imagine if Boogie was watching this live. What would he say to this? But he wasn't. Keemstar was watching this solo. I'm so he'd be, mad. He'd be like, I heard some things about you, Vito, and it's not looking good. <laughs> I, yes. I've heard something, and then he'd, like, explain it, like, really, like, wrong and, like, half-truth and, like, over-exaggerate. Like, yeah, I heard you fucked a kid. <laughs> On at, When you were protesting about Netflix, I heard you, like, raped a kid in the back. Fuck you. Yeah, that's actually that's exactly some crazy right shit. <laughs> yeah, yes. Because he did that with Tipster. Like, I, I watched a Tipster video. He's like, "Yeah, and you put C retweeted CP on your timeline and sexually harass all trans women." I'm like, a little bit of an over exaggeration. That's <laughs> <laughs> not really but... what happened, but <laughs> I mean, do I, I care? Know. But yeah. Regardless, <laughs> there's a crazy guy, uh, Boogie. Okay, there's two crazy guys, and one maybe wants to kill the other one. So that's why I his girlfriend know. left him. He he said, uh, "Is it because his podcast sucks and makes no money?" I think and that's why as she left? he's dealing with. No. Dude, that would be so good for Boogie to react to for the podcast. What 
what Keem reacted to this, right? What was Keem's reaction to? I skimmed over, but he acted bored the whole time. He was he bored. Like he... I, I feel like Keem literally has his work cut out for him. I think he's really letting his insecurities get to him. Like, everybody hits, like, a content creator peak at some point, and then eventually you just begin to fall off, right? But the thing is, is, like, it, it just mileage, mer uh, sorry, mileage varies, you know, depending on how you handle the falling off part, right? Because eventually, I, I feel like at some point you kind of have to accept that, you know, that, you know, your time is over, your time is done, and you just kind of have to chill for a bit. But, like, if you're, like, forsaking content because you feel like you're so insecure for content creation, I don't know. Like, that's just, it's just kind of weird, you know? It's just kind of weird. It is, it is what it is. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Fuck, I, we can't leak... Dude, you'd actually get fired if you leaked members-only content. Members <laughs> only. It wasn't members-only when it was live. Well, but I want to yeah. see it, but I'm not a member. I mean, maybe I can yeah, become no, a I'm member. Not gonna have, I I'm just not bought a house. It. I don't think I can afford a Keemstar lockout membership now. Yeah, well, that was so funny, too. On the same stream, it's so funny to bring this up. On the same stream that he sat there and whined and refused to like actually use the content that was given to him, he started talking about doing a hundred dollar memberships. I'm not even trolling you. He was talking about doing a hundred dollar a month memberships. And he was like, I think if we did that, we would probably have them be allowed to like call in on the live streams and stuff. I'm like, bro, you're sitting here, you can't even put a live show together yourself, and then you're wanting to raise the members to a hundred dollars. So other people can do your job for you. <laughs> yeah, so other people can <laughs> other people can make the fucking show. Like, what are you talking about? Yo, should we get some hundred dollar <laughs> memberships here on Mayo Monkey? Then you guys can call in and be retarded. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's just so bad. A <laughs> hundred dollars for a yeah, membership? Like, that's a month. <laughs> yeah, hundred dollars. What do you? A hundred dollars a month? You you pay like a hundred dollars, like or a little over a hundred dollars, like a year to get like Amazon Prime or something like that. But a month. For what Keemstar show like, or a wall cow show? Yeah, where he can't even Bro. put the docket together himself and has no idea what's going on. I mean, Bro. that's that's what we're doing. <laughs> so bad. He's tired no. of doing yard work <laughs> while he sits in his bathtub and stinks. She babysits for the and refuses to sell his magic card so he can buy her a ring. He says he has to catalog his magic cards, and I said, "But you don't got to catalog. Like, just come on." Did just she not it. feel comfortable with how he was constantly posting about like asking her dad to marry her in these inappropriate pictures, <laughs> thus making it harder for he her to uh, disentangle herself? I don't. Emotionally? I don't know. Did she finally <laughs> catch on to that? Who's every other stream works fine, but I got to refresh here, like four X. Wait, what? Am I lagging? Guys, am I lagging? <clears throat> What's going on here? No, everybody else is fine. No, but am I lagging? Is my stream like not okay? Even Kui? Yeah, but was that doing anything? No? Then I'm a little confused what you're saying. I do want the stream to run fine, though. <laughs> the most manipulative <laughs> shit you could possibly do is it like celebrity. I want Boogie's reaction to this. Did, but, did, was this not brought up when Boogie like came in afterwards? Boogie came in and Boogie came in and he made one comment about it only because Keemstar was so ADHD. As soon as he brought the cows and he was like, that dog, it sucked, didn't it, guys? That dog, it sucked ass. And then they both like defended me. They're like, what? I mean, what are you talking about? Connor is doing a fine job. But he sat there and whined about me. And then he just read Super Chats. So no, he. I think Boogie made one comment. He was just like, well, Dick, you're wrong about all that. That's not what happened. That's basically all he said. Wait, so the whole, the whole show was Keem going through the docket, bringing on the cows, complaining about the docket, them defending you, then him reading Super Chats and it ends? Then after that, I, I have only watched like the first hour, but that's like the first hour. And then he'll like, he'll do random ADHD jumps. He'll be like, Boogie, why do you have your girlfriend's ID in your pocket? Uh, Boogie, uh, I heard that you're doing your blood pressure wrong. Like he just does random ADHD jumps and like asks Boogie like stupid random questions versus like going over the actual content on the subreddit. That's how he managed it. Bro. And the first hour, the first hour that I watched, maybe the second hour is like side. amazing, but based on the first Dick Masterson is one of these people where, you know, from the very surface, uh, you could, you feel as though, like, you know, they're kind of like cool people, right? 
But then eventually you kind of dig a little further and you realize why they've fallen off so hard. <laughs> like Dick Masterson used to be this person who used to, you know, kind of be obsessed with like hating Destiny. I'm pretty sure I remember. Um, I think this Masters, uh, Dick Masterson called in, got BTFO'd by Destiny. Called in again, got BTFO'd by Destiny again, like for the second time. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it seems as though like... Yeah, it seems as though like he's just a long remnant, you know, of a uh, old remnant of YouTube past or whatever. It's a shame he's funny, but all they do is talk about Maddox. I don't even know who Maddox is. Like, here's the thing. If you talk about one person the entire time, you know, like, I don't know. You just kind of have to talk about other content, I imagine, right? Like, if it, if it really is, you know, them t just talking about one person that they really hate or dislike. Oh. First hour I watched, I was like, this is just a disaster. Well, if the podcast is only two hours, I imagine they didn't, re and a lot of it is defending you. Like, I, I imagine they didn't get talk a lot about what was actually here. Yeah, they probably didn't. Also, he did text me too. He texted me afterwards. He was like, we're, he did a live show on himself, which I think was actually a good show. He like interviewed Boogie and like did therapy for him and shit. And it was actually pretty funny. And he's like, do not do the show we just did. Just go back and edit that one. Post that one for tomorrow. So we're not even going to get a chopped up version that's public tomorrow for, for this live show. Because he's like, it was so bad. Doc, it was terrible, bro. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys need to do a rerun, man. You have EDP saying, like, Boogie's epic? Yes. So Boogie posted... The, the, the lore of this is that Boogie was, like, uh, sent his girlfriend away because he was scared that the guy who was stalking him would, like, kill her, right? And so the moment that Desi came back, he immediately posted her on his story. And everyone was like, um, what the fuck? Aren't you worried that Flaming Star is gonna, like, fucking kill her? Why are you doxing that she's back at your house? And so people in the comments were like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And EDP was gun guarding so hard. And that's, like, the lore. Look at that. This is him posting it immediately afterwards. And then, yeah, EDP was, like, uh, gun guarding for him in the comments. <laughs> Dude, the subreddit's awesome. They're literally shitting on all the cow- like, Dude, I feel like the whole concept for the show and everything in the content and all that is like just all there on a silver platter. You just need someone to make it happen and credit to Keem. He did a lot of things to help make that happen, but also I feel like he's hindering it. It's full potential. Yeah, well, also another part of this I didn't even mention, Boogie was deleting these comments. He was deleting the Boogie, the EDP comments. So that would have been awesome. Oh, I would have loved fuck? to watch Keemstar press him about it, but he didn't press him about it. I don't even think he brought it up. Maybe he did later in the stream and I missed it. I don't even think he brought it up. I would have loved to watch him go over that live. That would have been awesome. But I don't know if we have a uh, explanation. Yeah, I don't know. Keem, ju uh, Keem just needs to stop fighting against like, I'm not a lol cow. I'm just uh, eccentric in the host. And sometimes I get in drama, but I'm not a cow. Just embrace that you're a cow alongside them. One of the best moments of the show was the whole like, um, I can't believe you went on Rich's show and then him going on his hands and knees or whatever and everyone thought that was so faked because Keem was or, or faked because Keem was so over the top Boogie was so over the top but it was all natural and real but with, with the way it's set up now I don't feel like those moments can happen because Keem is like protecting himself and not letting himself get like shit on or that to be highlighted on the show like someone shits on Keem and he's like like he just forces what his opinion Dick is actually a low cow <clears throat> How? I mean, here's the thing is that, like, I feel like, oh my god, like, this is like one of these terms that's used so much to the point where it just no longer really means anything, right? Like, if you call somebody a low cow, like, what does it mean? It, it doesn't tell me anything. It's like, oh yeah, this is somebody who is not taken seriously. It's like, okay. Is that it? It, it? Then it's just somebody who's not taken seriously, you know? It, like, it, now it feels like whenever somebody describes somebody who is like a locale, it's like, oh yeah, this just, this person just happens to not be taken seriously, that's it, you know? I don't know. Like, why- okay, why can't a person just be simply just dumb? Can't beat the boss, you bad. What do you mean? Doing just fine. Really doing it? Well, because this is like, <laughs> what is this? Like, D 
difficulty 30 or some shit? I don't know, like, there's a bunch of modifiers you can apply, basically, and, yeah. Hi, Silver King. What was that? <laughs> exactly. Welcome to higher difficulties. Is on to what the audience wants. Like, Keem thinks what the audience wants is what Keem wants, but usually it's different, right? Like, yeah. Keem's like, the audience doesn't like that docket. It was so boring. But in reality, he thinks it's boring and no one's complaining about it. Or like, the audience doesn't want all the uhs and ums or whatever. They want it all cut out, but it's really just Keem and the audience doesn't care. So he's just like right. translating all of his opinions into what the audience wants. Yeah, well, I will say this, and also I don't mind it because uh, I, I, like I said, I can take shit. I do have a lot of people. When he was like whining, playing about the, the docket, the chat was like 50 50 split. Half the people were like, fire Connor now, fire him. <laughs> they've, been, <laughs> they, they've been saying that for like months. So at this point, it's honestly just a meme, and I think they like to just like, they think that like it makes me spur or whatever. So I, I think it's just funny. But I mean, if they do not see how much Keem purposefully cucked the content, then they're just like trolling. You said, oh, which I, I kind of get now. Uh, why Connor, the editor, hopped on? He hopped on because uh, because that's just the natural flow. It's like everybody shits on each other. So like, why would you not? Also, make it the case that, you know, you're shitting on Keemstar on um, another person's live stream. Like, that kind of makes sense, right? Like, if everybody already views, like, Keemstar as a low-cal, then why not just complete his low cal I don't know. With, uh, with the tipster farmer. The tipster farmer known as Boblacks, right? Like, like, it, uh, like that's just, that just makes sense to me, you know? If Kim starts the low cut, that means he's going to end up d doing something terrible to someone vulnerable. Ah, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. The usual what? Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. Trans tips in chat. No, he didn't. Does that mean he didn't cover the uh, EDP comments? Did he not go over that? Because that would not. be terrible. Why? Why would you not talk about that? That's like huge. That's like so funny. Well, I want to see Boogie's comments on that. And another thing too is a bunch of the audience was demanding bringing on only use me blade and shoe nice. And I was like, I don't know what's going on here. Like, what's the lore here? And Keem was like, the audience is wrong. I guarantee you, there's nothing there. It's total bullshit. The local live server was demanding it. The chat was demanding it. Everyone wants shoe nice and only use me blade on together. And he just refuses to put them on. Why? Why not? Like Even straight... if it's bad, like. The thing is, he shouldn't be worried about making bad content because it's like if low cows are involved, the content is gonna. All the low cows rape females and shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they don't. That's. Is that a requirement to be a low cow? Is raping somebody? <laughs> uh. All right. Oh shit. But he only does it on Snapchat. You want to know why? You don't know why he only does it on Snapchat? Why? I think I know why, but tell me. It's the only platform that you can't publicly see the views. Every other platform, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you can go look at the person's page and see how many views their shit is getting. Yeah. Snapchat, you can't. He never has to be pressed <laughs> about how he fell off. <laughs> because he's only right. posting on a platform that you can't see the views. Also, on. his <laughs> metrics for success that he keeps trying to like flex with the drama lore count is like impression so he's basically like saying we're good at typing something that people will freak out at it cl and click on and then like not follow because of it or like we're good right. at spamming posts so like on average just we're gonna have a higher uh, impression count because we post so much like yeah. uh, like i feel like teamstar's the only person i've ever seen flex twitter impressions 
<laughs> yeah. For like, you kind of like we got a billion like... impressions. Like, okay. There's that accounts mean? that get like viral tweets that get like millions of views that still end up having like 500 followers. Like, I, I don't, I right. don't know. Are you making like a lot of money off Twitter? I don't like. I just don't like. Yeah. Are you, is it like converting to Snapchat views? Is because like. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. Well, I mean, here's the thing. If he releases his Snapchat analytics, then I'll kneel. But if not, then I'm completely gonna believe that he only posts on Snapchat so he can hide his view count, because then it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, another thing about Twitter too is it's a lot easier to just clickbait or post like stupid shit on the internet when it's just like a Twitter post. Yeah. But to actually make like engaging content. He's falling off of that. Yeah, right, obviously. Because in order to consume a tweet like fully, it takes like uh, five to twenty seconds, right? But if there's right. a video attached, obviously it takes longer. But usually there isn't. Uh, when it comes to anything else, like you gotta dedicate like a minute or more. So it's just easier to click and read a tweet and just like not think about it. I don't know. It's like right. really easy to get impressions on Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, but it yeah. doesn't really do anything because it's like you barely make any money if you do at all and it's like I guess you could like post under your viral tweet being like hey check out my thing but that usually doesn't work I don't know it's just it, 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 it just there's it's just no point in flexing it yeah it's just very uh, it's very strange but regardless you know I, I think the thing is too is he knew drama was falling off that's why he retired it um, and now he can just do other side projects because you know it doesn't really matter. It's not his full commitment, uh, like Lock Out Live and shit like that. Regardless, you know, it's just funny to me. She's a straight up smoke show, <laughs> dude. It's just, it's just funny it's to like, me. It's like so boomer. <laughs> it's so what a boomer. Day. Like, <laughs> yeah, you it's think like your girlfriend's post. hot? Like, yeah, it, like, yeah, like tipster, tipster's gonna be like, yeah. But what do you mean? My wife is gorgeous. Like, yeah, of course I, you think, I I would expect you to think your wife is gorgeous. You know, I would expect yeah. you to think okay, I wanna she's skip a straight to the up action. smoke show. I want to skip to, uh, skip directly to when Kim Clark comes on. Okay. That's the part that matters. And he okay, just said it over and over, like, ever since I've been in here, you've been talking over me. Uh, maybe Ooh. he did land on the stream and I missed it. I don't even think That's he brought cool. it up. I would have loved to watch him go over that live. Rather, uh, do the live stream again, because they would make money off it. It wouldn't even pay me, right? And so the moment that Desi came back, he immediately, and then there's all kinds of like Shoe Nice, who like, the show, you killed it. That was a total L. And also on top of it, I, I, what do you mean? I did your job for you today. I don't know why you're questioning man how to do my job. You don't know how to do yours. I did your job for you. You didn't even set up a, uh, a stream. I put together more work on the docket today than you did. And then you couldn't even read it with the cows. Total fumble, a total L. Yeah, like if you're gonna have a... Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm guessing that Keemstar was in the chat at this uh, time. Like a clip of Dick L at you. So there's no... Li ooh, ooh, ooh. What was that? What was that? What was that? <sighs> Live stream once a week. That's your one job, right? You can't come up with it. No, it's not my... So oh, okay, okay, okay. This is the part where Keemstar comes on. Excellent. It's just so bad. I, I, I felt like this could have been such a good show. Yeah, Yo, yeah, you felt man. like you should have been a good show without Dude, fucking Dude, why, why did you man. not read your Grace Thorpe post? Why did you delete that from the document? Because I already responded mm. to it on the show before, but you cut it out of the edit. I've already literally said everything in that post word for word on the show before. Uh, but let me replies? ask you a question. Why did didn't you, you take replies? more than... Hey, why are you going to interrupt me every time I talk? Every time I talk. That's one time, by the way. Okay, no, no, no. Ever since I've been in here, you've been talking over me. Ever <laughs> since I've been in here. <laughs> We've been in here for 30 seconds. Go ahead, Keemstar. Yeah, Calm and down. you've interrupted me every single okay. time. And Keemstar, you're doing relax, it again. Relax. And you're doing it again. Go ahead. So are, are, you he are you asking me a question? Relax. Are you asking me a question or do you want to hear yourself talk? <laughs> What is it? You start. Ha, 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 Ask cope. your question. Cope more. Giggle and cope more. Ask Dude, your question. Your job why does Why does Keemstar's editor have more charisma than Keemstar? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> why Why is it that it's like 30 seconds in and his editor Connor is already destroying his boss at the time? Like why? What? How? It was fucking trash. No, you asked me oh. a question and I tried to answer and you're interrupting me.
Ask your question. This is why I'm your fucking gone, bro. You're fucking gone. Then you want to come on here? No, I'm so serious. I'm bringing Tuba on bro. from Skyfire, who's an amazing editor, to come on and yeah, edit. Relax. Again, we talked You're to coping. you. We told you this so many fucking times before. You don't fucking talk and disrespect the show this way. You did a fucking I horrible can... job. You're over here saying what are you shit talking like, about? "Oh, Keep they're starting. trying you to have do one forced job. drama." What is Keep the starting. forced drama? Keemstar, what you is have the one forced job. drama? I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. You what have is one it? Job. What is hey, the forced drama? Answer the question. Yeah. Answer the question. This is the forced drama. You have one job to do, which is make a live stream once a week. That's your one job, right? You can't come up with it. No, it's not my so one job. Yes, I have many different jobs. That is with not my job. Live. With Lawcat Live, that's your one job. No, yes. that isn't my job yes. either. I got to make sure that you're uploading and you're no, doing you the fucking what you should That's Tommy's to job. Is it not Tommy's job? What are you fucking talking? You're a liar. It's Tommy's job. You're lying. I just fucking Again, contrast that a lie. Is not, that is not a lie. Lie. Have to, cause, okay, lie hey. number one. Okay. What else Dude. do you ma ma manage the finances? Okay, Bull I'll give you that. Bullbacks, Can I ask you a question? Are you going to let <laughs> us talk one at a time or just let him talk over me the entire time? What What are we doing I mean, here? I mean, you guys are... What, what, am I going to just interrupt both of you guys to just say... I would like you Dude. This guy is a complete clown, dude. What, what the heck is Keemstar on about? This guy... <laughs> how, how did he even sign on Connor in the first place? Like, can you just imagine them, like, yelling over each other? Over, like, contract negotiations? Like, what the heck? Like, why? It, it's actually just so cringe. <laughs> why? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. It's like, Keemstar is actually insufferable. We need a Hazard food shops Riz off to see if the principle generally applies. I'll be honest. Hazard probably has more Riz, okay? Uh, like, I'll, I'll just straight up concede it to Hazard, okay? I'll straight up concede it to Hazzy. This guy, uh... <clears throat> this guy probably has more riz. Too, because I, I, I can't spurging. stand talking and then he talks on over Okay, every Connor, single Connor, time. let Keem <laughs> let Keemstar speak and then talk when he's finished, alright? Okay. Normal go conversation ahead. rules here. No. Go ahead. I know, like what the fuck is this? Go uh ahead. so so it is it is my job to make sure you're doing what you're doing, and when you don't, then I have to go yeah. Wait, I'll tell you what though. If Hazzy comes on tonight. <laughs> We can have a riz off, okay? Yell at Tommy, and then Tommy has to yell at you. So there's no lie. I don't know why you would say I'm lying. You, Tommy is the one that manages me completely. You don't manage me at all. You barely do. I mean, the only thing that you do is every now and then you'll message me. So you you go on the show all the time. I don't even talk to Connor about the live shows. I don't know what to, I don't even talk to him. He just manages does it himself. I don't talk to him. So which is true that you don't that's, talk to me about the shows, or that you're constantly managing me? Because when did I say I don't talk to you? When talk, did I say you said I don't that last talk show? To you? You said the last show, you were talking about the, uh, when I edit the live stream after you go live. You said that last show, you said, I don't talk to Connor about that. Like, he just so was it? So was it universally that I didn't talk to you for the whole time you've been in Laocao, or just like the last few weeks when Tommy no, took No, you over? don't. You don't talk to me about the ideas that goes into Laocao edit. I do that completely myself. You don't talk to me about the, uh, like, how the content's that's going. I do, that. I, do that. I do that with Tommy. I do that with Tommy. Yeah, Him that's and I message all the time because he's my boss. Yeah, exactly. That is true. Yeah, it's that's not true. true. That's not you, true. You don't whatsoever. talk about that at all. So you're whatsoever. not going to come on here and lie. Your one job is to manage a live stream. You couldn't do it. You pushed off two weeks there in a row. You know no you failed. Lie. There is yes. no lie. Okay. And by the way, the docket was fucking garbage. And the fact that you can't accept that is just more of the same. We, like when you do me and, a bad me and edit Boogie. job and everybody, like literally there's a campaign to fire you. <laughs> like everybody wants well, okay. you fired. Yeah, they so said about every person. So if this isn't but, cope, like, what is it then? Okay. Why does why does the entire fan base want you fired? Why do they spam it every time? You're, yes, they do. Because it's funny. It's funny. You're, and I can take it. Your so they, one job they is like the live stream. Spam you that they, want, they all spam that they want to fire you because it's funny. That's what they're yes, doing. And you know it's funny because you play into it. That's why you did what you did today by acting all the press on stream. You know it's funny. If you didn't know it was funny, you wouldn't play into it like you do. Be honest. Obviously, you fucking think it's funny. Second thing, you push off the live stream I twice in a row. I think it's true. I actually think it's no. true. I think you're actually no, pretty bad at your job. No, I'm not bad at my job because I. Keem, hopelessly full of shit and desperately clawing for those last few crumbs of relevancy. Never, dude. I, 
I, I think more, the more I think about it, like, you know, right now I am licking Destiny's tip, okay? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you don't change for the landscape, right? If you don't change to appeal to the landscape, like it is what it is. You can even tell, like, the way that Keemstar, you know, kind of talks about things, right? Like, even the way that he talks about things is now, like, I don't know, too boomerish, right? Like, the way that he made that Reddit post, like, anybody can just look at that and go, like, oh, dude, you're kind of hopelessly out of your time now, you know? Yeah. If he wins as the Rizzler, we need to start brackets for editors, get them all to compete for the title. Dude, <laughs> I don't want, listen, I don't want Hazard to get any ideas, okay? But I'm just going to say this right now. <clears throat> <laughs> the editors, honestly, they do all the work, really. <laughs> do they not? I, I feel as though, I feel as though is that ever since, you know, I've, uh, you know, gotten Hazzy on board, um, he has been, uh, you know, I've been taking a more backseat position, um, or whatever. Like now, you know, like with streaming, you know, I, you know, I, I stream, you know, I do whatever, right? But otherwise, you know, I try not to put too much work on Hazzy when I could. Um, but yeah, you should probably <laughs> should probably not abuse your editor, okay? All right, that person makes all the videos for you, especially since Keemstar is such a clown. I spent more time on the live stream than you did, right? Because you couldn't even spend. You said, "Oh, you." No, you didn't. Days. I called you during the live stream twice, and you didn't answer your phone. So, what are you talking about? No, setting up the, the live stream. The I working more conditions are false. Silver. The one thing you're supposed to do for Lawcat Live. What did you do for Lawcat Live this week? What did you do besides show up to the stream and mope and cry? What did you do? Nothing. I, you didn't, you didn't I told research. you. I literally called you. Didn't research you. anything? I did. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How you are you going to the show? How are you going to tell me what I did? You don't know what I'm doing. I've spent. I've been on the Reddit this entire time. I've been like looking at Boogie's Twitter and Wings' Twitter and. Po so why did, so why did you need me to make a docket? Then why did you need me to make a docket? I'm still talking. I'm still Go talking. Ahead. Go ahead. And you keep interrupting me before I can finish. I'm looking on the Reddit. I'm looking on Wings and Boogie's social medias to see what the fuck's going on with them. I'm looking for anybody saying anything about them, and there was nothing this week. So I postponed Tuesday to Wednesday, and then I told you, look, go through the Reddit, grab some fan art, grab some uh, potential drama, grab some things that we can react to and, and talk about, right? And then I look at the docket, and there's only a few posts in there. I'm like, well, there's not much to go on. I guess I'll just read these and then add Boogie and uh, and uh, Wings into the call. So that's what I did. But the docket was not impressive at all. The docket was trash. You spent 15 minutes on it. Okay. You obviously have no idea how to run a show when you're going through Reddit posts. Why the fuck would you read Reddit posts about Boogie without Boogie in the fucking call? What was the thought process there? It was boring. The docket was bad. There was nothing to react what to. What the you fuck are you about? talking about? You're reading the Reddit. The whole point of the fucking show is the Reddit. What are you talking yeah, but about? The, but the docket was trash. The docket you're was trash. You're reading the Reddit post. What Are you retarded? You're Did not going to you, read Reddit there... posts about Boogie with Boogie in the call. Are you actually just retarded? What are you talking about? Dude, dude, I, I'll tell you this right now. People would die to have such a proactive editor like this, right? Like, think about it. This person goes out of his way to play into the jokes, memes, be a part of the show, right? Do all the things that an editor is meant to do and more, right? Meanwhile, like, really, if you think about, like, the relationship between Destiny and his editor, August, right? It's all fair, right? This person manages the channel, gets 50%. That is fair. That That is what the editor is meant to do, right? And it's come and say well for it for the matter, right? Six digits, right? But the thing is, is that like, Keemstar has an editor here who is willing to go above and beyond to have such a thick skin as well. This guy has such a thick skin to endure Keemstar's abuse and still be a part of the content cycle behind Keemstar's show. Like, how do you not realize, like, you have a god-tier editor? Because editors are so hard. 
editors are so hard to find like good editors i'm talking about like actually good editors are so hard to find i i just don't think people okay oh my god guys i just don't think people realize how hard it is to find a good editor like at all like, i just don't i i like the absurdity i don't know just want to point out still more evidence of Kim being a boomer he really is a boomer like he even believes that the best way to boss is like by being a total spurg in private and in public, I guess. I don't know. You know, what could spice this 1,000 plus view live stream? Reading random Reddit posts. That's the ticket. Yeah. Food, you can starve your editor to make him work harder. Well, the good thing I don't starve him. <laughs> he He's in Britain, after all. How can I how can I starve him? By taking away fish and chips? It's not possible. Um... Also, like, it's also very clear that, you know, Keemstar is also projecting onto his editor, right? Like, he's like, oh my god, we don't have enough content. We don't have enough anything. Oh, we can't do anything. Oh my god. It's like, no, 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 no. I think you kind of realize that you're not really doing a great job as a content creator. But instead, your editor is like the real boss of the show. I think instead, you know, they should have Connor host the show since it's, he's so charismatic. And Keemstar should just be one of the locales. I think that, I think the show would actually significantly improve. And I, I might actually even watch the show. I might even watch the show if Connor just straight up becomes the freaking, you know, leader. But, you know, all we, we know that's not going to happen. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's like, why? why? What's the purpose of Keemstar? What, like, what's really the purpose of Keemstar at that point? It's just... Like, he's just there to be, like, the hype man, right? He's just there to be the hype man, and that's it. Like, he's not really there to do anything else. He's just there to be a total clown. I don't know, yeah. Broken record. I'm, Broken I'm record. actually confused I, because I, there's I, no... Yeah, no shit, there you're was confused. Nothing you couldn't fucking the run docket. the show. No there's shit, nothing you're in the fucking, fucking docket. Yeah, I can tell you're fucking confused, Keemstar, because you couldn't run the fucking show. No shit, bro. If you weren't confused, you would have brought the cows in and had a whole, like, you know... Talk with them while you're reading over the fucking Reddit post, but you didn't. No shit, what you're confused. What Reddit post? What Reddit post? Tell me. What Reddit post? The fifteen, the fifteen Reddit posts that I put in there, and, and also what the are dick they? video. What are they? What are they? You could have read they? the one about you could have read the one about they? you and Grace Thorpe. You could have read the one about Boogie update, Boogie updating Desi. You could have uh -huh. talked about Flaming Star and tied uh -huh. in Flaming Star and Desi. You could have talked about that. EDP uh -huh. defending Boogie in the comments. You could have uh -huh. brought him in and so talked the, about EDP. So you could have had Boogie docket. react about EDP. So is the shit. What are you talking docket. about? I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here rambling so off twenty ideas docket. to you. I'm so rambling off twenty ideas docket. to you. Yeah, you're coping. I mean, now you're just coping. No, you're coping. You're in here fucking crying because everybody shit on you once coping. again. No, you were Everybody wrong. You got exposed. Again. You got you exposed. You did a horrible <laughs> job at a fucking docket. You got exposed for completely failing at putting together the show. You spent a whole 15 minutes on that? You spent a whole 15 minutes on that? You failed at putting together the show. It was a total L on your side. You watched it all solo, like a total retard. ADHD, drooling, having no idea what the fuck's going on. Then you bring the cows in, and you make the content crying about the docket. Instead of even talking, you didn't talk about EDP, you didn't talk about anything. You made the content crying about the fucking docket. That was a total L. Well, so just take the L, bro. That, that L is going to you because you are officially fired. And no, like, I'm no mean. Fired. Yes, you are. I fired. have a new editor. I'm actually getting rid of you. Uh, I'm not fired. It's okay, Kim. You can take an L. I took an L before. I took an L in January. You can take an L. No, no. This like, is a total L from you. It's fine. There's nothing between wrong with that. You me can be and a you, sometimes. you are fired. Like, go go you, look at the lol cow Twitter. You can, like, you right can now. Be, you I'm going to post it sometimes. officially. It's okay. It's okay I'm for you to be a cow sometimes. There's nothing wrong with you being a cow sometimes. It's funny, Keem. It's funny. Yeah, the poll 90% to me. Yeah, I know, exactly. Keem, there's nothing wrong with you being a cow sometimes. It's funny. You need to relax. Official tweet on Lil Cow Live. Connor has been fired. Like, you're fired. No, no you need to... You you, are. It's not, you're, not, you're not the boss. Tommy's the boss. If he wants to fire me for, for talking shit to you, then he can. It's up to him. Okay, well then, if, if that's the case, then I fire Tommy. <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, hey, you, you, who's sending you just, the paychecks? Is Tommy sending the paychecks or am I sending the paychecks? Everyone's making the money. What are you talking? What are you talking about? You're gonna withhold the money from people because you're mad that I talk shit about you? What are you talking about? No, I'm telling you, you're fired. You you're are not fired. Gonna with, what you, okay, so let me get this clear. You are. You're, you're fired. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You're threatening There's to withhold threat. the paycheck. You're fired. No, no, no. You're threatening to no, withhold the you're paychecks. You're fired because you're mad you're that I'm talking fired. shit about you. You're, you're actually fired. Withhold, you're threatening to withhold the paychecks because you're mad that I talk shit about you. That just to be clear, that's what you're doing. No, you said Tommy so is, is the only one. No, no, you no. said wait, hold you on. Said you said Tommy. Hold on. 
You said Tommy was the only the, one that can fire you. All the cows together can fire me. If they vote to fire me, then they can. But realistically, uh, you mishandled I'm the show. I'm doing the vote by myself. You're fired. No, you're not. You mishandled yes, the show. I am. No, you're not. You mishandled the show. You're fired. You, dro you dropped the ball. It was an L on your part. It's okay to admit that. You spent the time crying about it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Dude! Woo! <laughs> Jesus! What am I watching? What am I watching right now, guys? What, what's, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on in this bitch? Olive, hi. Okay, just dying to see me in the cage match. I see it right through you. Olive would win. Bare knuckles. Look, Hazzy is nothing without his sword, okay? Ha Hazzy is nothing without his sword, and that's just how it is. That's how it works, okay? Hazard. Hazard without a sword is not Hazard, okay? He's just... Um... Listen, just just pretend I made a really good joke there, okay? <laughs> oh man. The woman's way. You should have made it with the cows. You could have made it so much more entertaining. Bro, if you, you don't want to accept it, that's up to you. But you are fired. Just so you know. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he rage quit. I mean, he ran. So. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, he just rage quit. That's so, O'Connor still has access to the LolCow Live YouTube channel, apparently. I'm guessing Keem will probably re uh, redact uh, your access to that soon. But you also said that, like, Keem tells you this all the time. Like, you're fired, you're fired. So, like, maybe he <laughs> won't. Maybe this is just another boy you cried wolf. Kinda. Well, okay. I mean, realistically, if Keem, if all the cows come together and say, "You made content for the show by talking shit about Keemstar," you're gone. Then I guess I'll leave. But Keem, if he's mad that I'm Dude. willing to argue and fight with him and make why? Why is this guy such a giga chad? How? How is this guy such a giga chad? I, I just, I, I cannot comprehend. I cannot comprehend the enormous mandom dawn that this guy has. Okay. Enormous steel balls that are dragging across the floor as he as he reaches to his computer. This guy, this guy is like, this guy's like Giga Chat. It's like his boss literally goes, "Oh, you're not fired. You're I'm sorry, sorry. You're fired. You're fired." And meanwhile, this Connor guy, okay, this random ass dude named Connor is like, "I'm not fired." It's like, "I'm not fired." He, the real boss is. Fucking god, I can't, dude. This is actually so absurd. See, this is the real locale live, okay? This is the real locale live. You can't convince me otherwise. This is the real locale. Oh, that rhymes. This is the real locale live, okay? Oh my god, dude. Imagine he has no legs, he uses his balls to walk. Oh my god, dude. Dude! I. Oh my god, dude. That was nuts! Oh fuck. I don't want to make too much noise. That was nuts. That was nuts. What the fuck? Content for the show. He can suck. He can suck it up and, and deal with it. He'll be fine. It's not the big. It's not a big deal. He's okay. Dude, the plot armor test. So true. <laughs> it's not this plot is like armor. You crawl, this is like you crawling under the dumpster. All the zombies are gonna be like, "I'm gonna eat you." You're like, "Nope, I'm under the dumpster, dude." Dude, you. <laughs> If you're not fired after this, I mean, like, I guess this has happened to you before, but this is, like, the first time maybe, like, publicly that one of these calls has been... Uh, no, I mean, I called them. Uh, I had the stream with them when I was talking shit. Or not talking... I'll, I'll say this right now, okay? Now, there's no content creator in the world who won't hire this guy, okay? Well, who won't hire Connor. Why... Why would you not hire Connor after this? Like, I just I just don't get it, you know? Like, if you're a content creator and you have enough money to hire Connor, why would you not hire Connor? Who's the guy on the left of voice sounds familiar? Uh, it's Bo Blacks. It's Bo Blacks. It, it's the... It's... 
it's basically Nicholas Diorio's tipster farming machine, okay? Like, this guy's entire content cycle, like, Boblax's entire content cycle is read out Twitter post and then farm Boblax. Uh, sorry, farm tipster, okay? Like, that, that's all he does. That's all he does. That's literally all he does. <laughs> yeah. Like, basically, I'm just saying classic commentary community is like, uh, yeah. When he was. Mad at me for the shorts or whatever. That, that, that did happen. But oh, no. but was he even. I didn't watch that. Was, that. was he that mad? Like, was he as mad as he is in now? No, he was not that mad. He was coping now. I could hear him, like, cope laughing. <laughs> I could hear him cope laughing while he was talking. But that was, I mean, that was good content. If he's mad about content, then you can, you can just cry about it. Yeah, it's good content. Um, <laughs> I see and people were saying, so they're like, Boblax really helping out with the, the content drought. You're welcome, guys. Yeah. Oh, me. Uh, confusing opinions yeah. is $5. Connor, I'm coming for your job, little boy. Better run. I don't know if you could handle working with uh working with Keemstar, I mean, buddy. You, you kind of need some kind of need some balls of steel to work with yeah. Keemstar. And Bobby B with twenty dollars, Boblack's coming in clutch with the content today. True, I pro your guys are welcome, dude. I made that all happen. Did, is this how Augie feels when he gets a bunch of donos for like work that me or Nick do on his streams? <laughs> <laughs> like like thanks for the content, the Augie. <laughs> yeah, but did, but dude. <laughs> I d don't oh, worry, shit. guys. I deserve it. D d do you guys? Do you know how many times I was on fucking Augie stream spitting flames, and then Augie gets a hundred dollar donation? Bowie W, yes, a hundred dollars to Augie. <laughs> you know how much I, 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 Augie owes me at least like five k. I swear, dude. But not <laughs> actually, not actually. But you know, if we were to count up those times, Augie. it would probably be a lot. But. We, we share the content around here. It, oh, I'm yes. getting a, I'm getting a call from my uh from my boss. Oh shit, so, a private call. I'm gonna talk to him. Yeah, I'm gonna private call. All Your right. stream can be watched back, right? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna watch. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, we can watch it back. All right, all right. Uh, thanks I'll, for uh, coming I'll be on, back. bro. I'll be back. All right, dude, what the fuck keeps cooking my content? Wait, I could have been getting another twenty from fucking Bobby Bob, dude. Five dollars from Austin Teos. I was gonna send this to ask Connor to bring up editing disparities and lack of negative comments when uh, he does it his way, but Keem hung up. I don't know. Wait, we need a new. We need a new poll. We need a new poll. We need a new poll. Keem has been climbing up in the votes. Do you think Connor will get fired because of this? Because Keem did call him back, so there's a discussion brewing right now between Keemstar and Connor. Is Keem after the end of this call? Is Keemstar gonna fire him, or is he gonna keep him on? Maybe Keemstar's bluffing. Although Keemstar seemed very mad. And he just said it over and over like, you're gonna be fired. I'll fire Tommy to get you fired. I don't fucking care, dude. I'm done working with you. But I don't know, dude. If he's calling back, if he's calling back, because I assume if he were to get fired, it would just be like, hang up. Uh, all the access to everything would be severed, which Connor said his access to the YouTube wasn't severed, you know? And there wouldn't even be a callback. I feel like if he were to actually be fired off of that. It would just be like, fuck you, cut off immediately. I don't think there'd be a second conversation, which is allegedly happening right now, so. Uh, I think Connor's probably right, but if I talked to my boss like that, it'd be over. Yeah, it's a very interesting boss-employee dynamic. I don't want to fuck Grace, you retards. Dude, I can't believe this is an unironic post. Keemstar came in here, it's a serious post. This is an unironic post from Keemstar. This needs to be framed, dude. This needs to be framed. Dude. How does... Since... I, it seems like to me since Tommy C... Oh. Since, like, Tommy C, right, is... Oh, has he? Wait. Okay, okay, okay. So here's my thing. If Tommy C is like the co-host, how the hell does Tommy C deal with Keemstar, dude? Give me five minutes, I'm still in bed. Okay. Don't stop to stream. Okay, I'm not. Oh, we might be able to see who was right in the poll. 51% think Connor's fired. 
Did, did he get fired or not? We need a. People are betting on this. Oh, are people putting money down? I thought that was. I me. mean, I think he's extremely pissed about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was planned by him because apparently, uh, I don't even think this show had anything to do with it. I think he literally already had it all lined up, which is very. That's what I predicted. I predicted that he already knew. Uh, the whole the whole docket show being fake was a uh, the whole docket the whole docket being shit was a fake fake bit, but yeah uh, I mean what happened right now is I'm kicked out of the group chat and apparently he already immediately has like some Skyfire news guy, uh, I guess who he wants to do the editing, but none of the cows have said anything none of them talked about it, uh, we'll see. Truth Wait, is, if the whole thing was a bit though, then why is he actually removing you from the chats and getting a replacement? Or is a bit still no, going no, and he just thinks not a not... bit, not a bit. I mean, a setup. Like he already had it planned to have a Skyfire news guy come in. Oh, like that's what I mean. Okay, okay. So he was already yeah. planning on it, this was just his way of firing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's been known like. to do this. He did that. He does that with Tommy all the time, right? Oh yeah, you know he did it with Tommy before, and he also has fucked with Tommy multiple times. Yeah, uh, I mean, we'll see because the cows haven't said anything. I mean, the truth is, are you familiar with Kim and Tommy on beta? No. I wait. How fucked up is it, right? Because I thought it was already kind of fucked a little bit, right? A little fucked. Um, that you know, your editor is willing to come onto another person's live stream to trash talk the boss, man, right? But the thing is, is that you know, it's kind of justified. Listen, I, I, I totally understand. I, I totally understand. Okay. I mean, because Keemstar just seems like a horrible person all around, okay? So I'm not gonna trash, I'm not gonna trash Connor, Giga, Giga Connor, okay? This is the good Connor, okay? This isn't Counterpoints. This is, this is the epic Connor, okay? This is, this is the Connor beyond space and time, okay? This is the Connor of magnanimous disposition, okay? I love this guy, all right? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's like... It, they they plan for him to get fired in a way that is like that. Like that's kind of fucked up, dude. Like really, like oh, I oh, I I hate this entire sphere, dude. I hate content creators. I hate content creators. I hate the dynamic they have with everybody. I hate like the way you know they, uh, dude. Oh god, I've been so blackpilled on this entire space, I swear to god. Like, the more conversations I have with people who have been in this space for longer, the, you know, the more I feel like I've been blackpilled on, like, this entire space, I just, like... Look, look, I think it's great and all. You're, you're a self-hating content creator? No, I love myself. I really appreciate myself. But, like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, dude, talking with Sen, talking with several other people I cannot name, alright? Like, it's just... Dude. 